Hello everybody. Uh, I'm making this video for you to try and guide you a little bit on how you can see for yourself about the incoming comets, asteroids, meteor, whatever term NASA is going to give it. Uh, I prefer myself that this is maybe a planet and a system and a brown dwarf star. So, <clears throat> what I'm showing you now is I'm actually on a NASA government website and this is a graph <coughs> so to speak real time of the travel of these incoming objects and it's a pretty simple tool to use I'll direct you to the site but you can see you can slide it up you can turn it, tilt it so that you can see it better. You can come over here and rotate it so that you can see it better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this. You just set it for daily distance and you have all these little boxes checked your date and your distance your planets and your objects is going to show all those things it's showing all the orbits this is the orbits that the planets make this blue one this blue line here right here is the orbit that this object 23187 is making. So I'll put it as you can see this object is not carrying the same orbit as our planets seem to carry within our solar system. It is coming in at a strange angle that does not follow the same orbital of the planets in our system as much less the Earth. <coughs> okay, let's see, what date are we on? Let's go backwards some um, so I can explain this. For a long time now we've had talk about the planet's going to get hit someday. They found a tenth planet. Well, they did. They've known about it 50 years. 25, no, 27 years since they've actually found the location. But they know this thing is on the way. Or some other videos that I posted concerning purchases that FEMA's made for an event, some type of event that they're going to practice for. <coughs> I have heard them call it an ELE, an extinction level event. I've heard them call it an NLE. Uh, it's something big they're practicing for, and they bought a lot of food. They bought a lot of blankets, they bought a lot of water, they bought many suitcase satellites for communication purposes, they bought uh, portable housing that can be constructed quickly by unskilled labor, uh, they bought underwater body bags, they're buying all this stuff and they, they want to tell us that it's just for practice in case there's an event sometime they'll have all this stuff. Well I realize FEMA is supposed to be stocked up on stuff or or if they're not stocked up on it then they're certainly supposed to have contracts with businesses that can supply all the emergency supplies that they would need in a catastrophe that can be ready on a dime to deliver. So 
they are getting ready for something. Because when you're just practicing and you're just playing and you're just this, that, and the other, you, you don't need to spend uh, a half a billion to a billion dollars or more to collect these supplies and have them stored or have them accessible. So let's get in and see what they're hiding. Okay, see these? You can. These are your little arrows. You click this and it'll take you backwards. You click this one next to it, it'll go slower, but you'll still go backwards. This is your pause, this is your fast forward. See, I clicked it, and it takes you daily. These one clickers take you back or forwards one day at a time. We're on December 20th now, and as you can see, it is 1.139 AU. Uh, I believe that stands for astrological unit. Uh, the astrological unit uh, is showing you the distance, how close it's getting to the Earth. So, here's December 20th, like I said, 1.139. And one week later, 1.102. And a week later, 1.059. You see? And then we have the fateful day on January the 10th to where we went under 1 AU in distance. And that means this thing here this blue circular line here that means it is in terms of miles if you can think of it like that if you lived one mile from work that's not too far away but if you lived eight miles from work well that's a little different you know you might be able to walk a mile to work because it's so close but eight miles that's pretty far you know probably want to drive to work if you're that far so in context this is what this is doing this is not pretty far away anymore this is getting really close so let's go another week We went too far. There's the 17th, 0.918. Closer yet still. There's the 24th, 0.825. There's the 31st, 0.72. See? Blue dot. And you can see the Earth, you know, where its location is also as far as this goes. See? There it is. There's the Earth. Let's go another week. Point six oh five on February the 7th. There's the object. There's the Earth. The 14th on Valentine's Day 0.483 AU. There's the object, there's the Earth. On the 21st, this is getting ridiculous. Look at this. 0.359. There's the Earth, there's the object. And this is February the 28th, right here. 0.238 AU. See the dots? The Earth, the object. Okay. Now we have to project forward into dates we've not been into yet. 
March the 1st, 0.222, close or even. 2nd, 0.206. 3rd, 0.191. The 4th, 0.176. The 5th, 0.162 the 6.15, the 7.139, the 8th, 0.129, the 9th, 0.122, the 10th, 0.118, the 11th, 0.117, and 0.117 appears to be by the latest data supplied by NASA if we can trust them if they're even close to getting this data right it is on March the 11th these dates are subject to change nothing is fixed things can change so people we need to be ready look at this look at how close this object is to our planet look at that distance that is scary and you should begin to really put your house in order stock up on some food if you can some canned goods crackers peanut butter things you can eat cold things that you can eat with little preparation bottled water you need to start really getting into it because there's going to be some really bad shit coming <coughs> We've never been in this territory before, and we don't know what it's going to do. So I'm going to take this back, and I'm going to let this play out. And you can see how this works. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it on full speed for you to watch the travel. See that? I'll take it back even further. We'll go back into even further territory. Give you a little different view here. There, there we go. Try that. That's a little different of a view for you. Try a little different of an angle, even. Try that. Now you watch how these objects move. And you watch what's going to happen. You see that? There it is, right there. Look at that. See that? People, I can't urge you enough. You've got to get ready. You've got to start paying attention. I'm putting the stuff right in front of you okay so I'm gonna go and show you a link now and click this off and let's see if I can find that link okay where did I put that Where is it? Let's see here. Okay, here's your link right here. This right here is the link. SSD.JPL.NASA.GOV slash SB db dot cgi question mark you come right here see it there it is right there there's your link people you see it that's the link right there